If you are new to Star Citizen and you haven't signed up yet, please consider using my referral code. It will be linked in the description of the video. I'd really appreciate it if you could use my referral code if you do sign up for Star Citizen. We both get free stuff when you do that. Welcome to my Cullen Games and welcome back to Star Citizen. This is day three of Fleet Week and we have the new round of ships on display at the stadium. So let's go head over there. Uh, looks like they still have the same merch that are on. Looks like they have the same merch that's on sale still. So we'll just keep moving up this way. It doesn't seem like there's any new merch on sale yet. Hopefully they'll add some more merch later in the week. We'll see. I'm not sure. But you know what? I think also, let me go back down here really quick. It looked like a few of these uniforms look a little different. There we go. It wasn't popping in before, and now you can actually see the full details of the pants. The uniforms they're adding look so freaking awesome, especially the officer's uniform. If I could look up all the way. There we go. That looks freaking awesome. That would be awesome to get. Uh, Squadron 42, whenever that thing comes out, hopefully we'll be able to get the rank of general or admiral, I guess. Uh, if, you know, we're able to, that would be freaking awesome. Anyways, let's go around here. We checked out this one in the last episode. I don't believe there's anything different with these uniforms. Looks good. And that display over there, like, seriously, that is an awesome display. And then also we have this display. Freaking beautiful display they got going on. Anyways, let's go check out the new ships that are on display. Uh, I believe it's Anvil today and the next day. And then on Tuesday, there should be a new round of ships. Uh, ship Hall, Anvil Aerospace. Ah, uh, that's okay. Maybe they don't have any ground vehicles for this one. There we go. Whoa, that is a massive ship. Damn. Okay. Let's get down there and look at that up close. Again, I gotta say, this jacket looks freaking awesome. I really hope I'm able to keep this persistently. And if you guys do enjoy the episode, hit that like button. That does help me out when you do that. As well as, you know, maybe consider subscribing as well. Uh, let's go check this out. I heard this one's actually a pretty decent ship. It's more of like a drop ship. So let's go in first person here. And it's got the little bay door here, which is freaking awesome. And uh, it's got... A little bit of room for cargo, I suppose. And it's got a seat right there and another seat there. This thing is a pretty cool one. I've actually uh, ridden as the passenger in it before, but I've not actually flown this one. Uh, I should probably try renting one of these. Uh, with this one, I heard this one you can't actually rent yet. It's not actually in-game. As you can see, you know what? Looks like we can actually... No, can we not enter it? It says we can enter it, but it's not letting us. Okay, what about closing the cockpit? Okay, so it doesn't look like it'll open or close. Interesting. Anyways, this thing I heard can be loaded out with so many weapons. Like, look at that. This thing's got a lot of freaking firepower. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's got a lot of missiles on it, too. Uh, if you're wondering where Tub is, he was not able to come to the convention today. He's a little busy running around doing, you know, some shipping packages and all that good stuff either way though uh we'll just we're just running through here again maybe he didn't want to come this day either way let's see we got another ship over here let's go check this out the f7a uh can we get inside this one looks like the turret system on it's a little bugged yeah, imagine that a bug no there's no bugs in star citizen what are you talking about uh, okay, it doesn't look like I can get up in it. What I want to know is, does this ship have cargo capacity? Okay, can I get up it? Let's see. I'm not seeing any cargo room on it at all. No, it doesn't seem like it has cargo. So that's not going to be a good one if you want to haul any kind of packages. But it does have some good firepower on it, it looks like. Let's see the next one. Damn, they got a lot of ships on display today, don't they? Whew, that thing is freaking massive. Oh, uh, let's see. We got, ooh. Damn, this place is freaking beautiful. They got so many ships on display today. Let's go check out this one first. We'll go from left to right, I guess. 
Again, I hope you guys do enjoy the episode. If you do, please hit that like button. That really does help me out when you do that. And if you are new to the channel, go check out my LSPDFR videos. It's the main thing I do on this channel. But uh, I, I try to do some more games just to get things a little more interesting. But what is this seat? Is that like a gunner seat? Support station. Interesting. And then we got the cockpit here. Center the pilot seat. This is so friggin' awesome, checking out all these ships. Alright, what do we got to do with this one? Um... Uh, what do I turn it on? Close exterior. Okay, so that side door closed. That is a really cool looking door. What is that? Interesting. This Oh, I think this is like the EMP type ship. Or like anti-jump ship. That looks pretty thick. Anyways, uh, can we turn it on? Power off. Apparently it's powered on already. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't look like we can do much with it. We'll get back out over here. Oh, you know what? Let's sit in the support seat see what it can actually do. Uh, use support station. What can the support station actually do on this ship? Oh! Okay, that's cool. Um, power on. Bloop, there we go. Uh, it doesn't look like we can do much, though. So it looks like we got a bunch of screens on here, but we can't actually do anything with it. I'm assuming it uses the turret on it or the, you know, anti-jump device or EMP. Uh, how do I open the door? Uh, that's to rent it. No. I want to open the door. Well, oh, whoa, we got it. This is the door we can go into. Is that just a locker? What is that? Oh, is that a toilet? I think that's the bathroom on the ship. That's cool. So it's got a bunk bed. Uh, might only be one bed. I know, I don't have my flashlight on. I'm in my civilian clothes right now. Uh, but in order to get that door open, I think I got to turn the power back on. So let's get back in this seat and check out the next ship. Alright, uh, let's see. Where was the open exterior? Power on. Hello? Uh, open exterior. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, let's get back out here and check out the next ship on the line. Alright, what do we got? Ooh, that looks nice. It looks like the other one that we just looked at over on the other side there. Ooh, this one's got a lot of missiles on it. I'd prefer to swap those missiles out with these gimbal turrets. That would be really cool if you could do that. Let's see, can we enter this one? I want to check out that one in a moment. But let's see, can we enter this one? We can rent it. But can we enter it? Doesn't look like we can rent it. Whoa. Look at those torpedoes. Those are massive. These are freaking massive. Wow, okay. Which ship is this? The Anvil Gladiator. Damn, that, that's got a lot of missiles on it. All right, let's go check out this thing. This one looks freaking awesome. The paint job on it looks really sick. Okay, those are some big cannons. Are those rail guns? It's the Anvil Hurricane. All right, how do we get inside this beast? Uh, we got a docking ring here. Uh, enter gunner seat. Can I enter the ship, though? It's got to be a way to enter the main ship. Uh, so that's... Oh. No. How are you supposed to enter this thing? Alright, let's try and use this docking ring here. Enter gunner seat. Let's see. Okay, so that comes down. 
the seat actually comes down. Okay. And we go up. Oh. Okay. Uh, there we go. It's pretty sick. Uh, switch mode. Power on. Anvil Aerospace All Systems Online. Okay, so it's got four guns on it. Damn. Uh, of course, we can't do anything with it because, you know, it's on display. We're not. We're not. We're not going to be shooting people in this stadium. That would not be good at all. Uh, can I get out of the seat? Uh, am I stuck in the seat now? All right, boys, making our way back down to the hall floor. I was just having. I just had to wait and fill out a bunch of paperwork with security because I got stuck in that turret for quite some time. Anyways, let's make our way back down here and check on the next ship. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that big one. That thing is freaking massive. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Please, again, hit that like button if you do enjoy it. Oh, that's the Carrick. Okay, yeah, I've actually been in that one like about two weeks ago. That's another big one. We'll check out the Carrick first. I don't think we really need to look at these. We'll, 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 we'll take a quick walk around these just to check them out. This one is the Arrow Anvil. And this one is the Anvil Hornet. Now the Carrick. This thing is freaking awesome. We dropped down on a super windy planet, all sandy and dusty. And the guy, the pilot, turned the engines off on this thing. And literally it almost blew away. Freaking insane. Uh, definitely you want to leave the engines on this thing. It's a super heavy ship, but those winds were really strong. Uh, let's close the door if it'll let us. Will it actually let us? It will. Look at that. That's awesome. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm just going to take this for a test flight. Honestly, I can probably rent this one. I may, may, might do that. I don't have anybody else available right now that can partner up with us. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Let's open the door. Okay, what is this? Oh, got a ladder. Okay, this is actually the first time I actually used a ladder in the game. Let's see. Okay, this is like a... Oh, what the heck? Okay, it's like an, uh, a repair hatch. Okay, oh. And it takes us up here to the uh, observation deck. Okay. No, that's the observation deck up there. This is the... Um, this is the hangar for smaller ships. Hangar bay, yeah. Open the door there. Uh, okay, it looks like something's glitched out here. What is that? I have no idea what this thing is. Looks like a little alien blaster from Fallout. Bethesda, did you work on this game? Is that why there's so many bugs? Uh, anyways, let's get inside here and see what else we got on this ship. Uh, the gun pods are here, I think. Yeah, the turret. Here we go. So these things are pretty sick. They're actually really powerful, too. Uh, let's go up onto it here. Will we be able to actually move it around and everything? Let's see. There we go. Okay. And no, we're not actually able to move it around. That sucks, but if we go in third person, uh, look how big this ship is. I believe this ship was like $600 or so. I should check and see if it's on sale. Maybe I should buy it. Uh, if you guys think I should, maybe maybe you could uh, let me know in the comments below. Maybe, you know, throw in some donations, too, so I could afford it. This thing is freaking massive, though. It's not even the biggest ship in the game, which, you know, we saw the... Uh, you know what? Actually, we haven't taken a look at the ships in space yet. The fleet is, like I said in the previous episode, they are currently flying around the galaxy, basically doing a parade, I guess you could say. And they're going around to different space stations, having fireworks and celebrations and all that good stuff. We'll have to check that out in the next episode, because I think this one is going to be too long uh, to go and do that. But let's get through here. Here is the engines back here. This is seriously reminding me of the Normandy from Mass Effect. 
that would be awesome if we could actually you know, do some engine repairs and stuff. Taking a huge firefight and just the ships are getting destroyed and, you know, everything is getting blown up. Just jump down here, start repairing the engine leaks and all that good stuff. That would be freaking awesome. Uh, quantum jump drive. Doesn't look like we can open that yet. Uh, we got this ladder here. Okay. Let's see, let's go down here and check out engineering. So I've not actually taken a look down here. Nope. Go down. Thank you. Uh, I've not actually taken a look down here before. Power plant. Oh, you can... Oh. Oh, so this is the actual engine of the ship. That's really cool. So if you buy a different motor for the ship, that's where it'll be stored, I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, no, let's uh, go around this way. Uh, what is this? The shields, I believe. The bearing. Yeah, I believe those are the shields. Uh, you can close those too. That's really cool. So I really do think eventually they'll allow you to have a like engineering crew and try to repair the stuff while in a firefight in space. That would be really sweet if you'd be able to do that. But I don't believe you can do that right now. Uh, we got another shield generator over here, I believe. Shield generator one and shield generator two. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, and this one's got actually got a light in there so you can see it. This one looks a little dark. Freaking awesome. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Uh, life support. Doesn't look like there's anything actually modeled at the moment. Okay. Uh, radar. Doesn't look like there's anything modeled. Or maybe it doesn't have it because we're not actually, you know, in space right now. Because this is just a uh, display. Uh, fuel tank. Engineer access only. What, what is this? I'm not sure what that is. Uh, we can't actually go inside there. Make sure deactivate before moving. Authorized personnel only. Okay, anyways, I think that's good. Let's go up to the bridge of this ship. And, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Whoop. Let's uh, call the elevator there. Hello? There we go. Okay, cool. And let's see. Let's go to upper engineering. There we go. Alrighty then. And there's the engines again. Let's go back over this way. Again, this is a really big ship, so it can take a while to look through the whole thing. Uh, so that's the other turret on the other side of the ship. Let's go around this way, and there should be an elevator that we can access. There's the stairwell again. Oh, this one. That's right. This is the like drone repair bay which currently isn't implemented yet, but you'll be drone operator seat. That wasn't there a week ago, I don't think. Did they actually add it? So let's see. I don't think we'll be actually be able to do anything with it now, but I don't think the seat was here a week ago, so you might actually be able to use this now. You can like make repair, dr or repair drones would actually be pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, you're supposed to be able to use this to, like, scout out the area, I guess, with drones. Uh, drone operator seats. So there's two drone operator seats. That's interesting. The lighting's bugging out a bit. Okay, we'll just try and ignore that. Again, hope you guys do enjoy the episode. Please hit the like button if you do, and maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, what do we got over in this door? Caution. Do not obstruct. Repair. Pull. Okay, so apparently that's a repair station. We got a bunch of tools. Uh, okay, does this open up? No, okay. Interesting, so we got a little, like, maintenance room. It's pretty cool. This ship really does remind me of the Normandy. Doesn't quite look like it from the outside, but the inside is pretty, uh, pretty close. Uh, the bridge. Whew, look at that. This is freaking awesome. Uh, this is actually the upper bridge. This is the support seat, or the command station. The pilot is actually below us, I believe, if I remember correctly. This is a really cool ship. You've got a gunner seat, I believe. 
Uh, yeah, so we do have a gunner seat there, and I believe this is another gunner seat. No, support seat, okay. And this, I don't think you can actually mess with currently. But look at this awesome station, that is freaking awesome. Uh, we do have this elevator, so we can uh, go down to the main bridge. Uh, so we are on the upper bridge. Let's go down to the lower bridge. There we go. And let's turn around. And here is the main bridge. Pretty cool. Uh, definitely a very decent view. Oh, you can actually walk out here. That That's pretty cool. You can actually walk all the way out here. This glass is freaking clean, too. <laughs> Can you imagine being out in space, just walking out here? It's like an infinity pool, basically. Kind of. Somewhat. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think we're doing good then. Let's get on to the next ship, I think. This is pretty much the whole thing. Um, well, I mean, there are different floors and everything. Uh, we got another room here. We got, like, a little meeting room. That's pretty cool. We'll make it quick, I guess. Let's get through the rest of the ship. Ooh, this looks like the captain's office. Definitely looks like from the Enterprise from Star Trek. Like, not gonna lie. This office looks freaking legit. Ah, maybe I should get this one. Definitely gonna have to save up money, though, because it's a pretty expensive ship. Uh, wait. Locked, unlocked, life support, item storage. Huh. Uh, doesn't look like there's any reflections yet, sadly. Uh, we do have a toilet, and we have a shower, too. Nice. What kind of stuff they use in here? Deer grind. Okay, then. Uh, we got some cabinets, and looks like maybe uh, dryers or something for your towels. Uh, what do we got on this side? We got a freaking pool table over here. All right, let's get inside here. What do we got? See, this ship is freaking awesome with all the windows and everything. Having a freaking massive crew with you would be awesome to have on this ship. So again, if you guys haven't played this game, I forgot to mention, which I might need to put at the start of the video. Put this at the start of the video. Uh, let's go right over here. If you are new to Star Citizen and you haven't signed up yet, please consider using my referral code. It will be linked in the description of the video. I'd really appreciate it if you could use my referral code if you do sign up for Star Citizen. We both get free stuff when you do that. We'll just leave it at that, I guess. This ship is freaking awesome. Okay, anyways, we'll cut it there then. And let's, uh, yeah, let's go back over this way then. I just had to throw that in there. We'll have this in the video twice, I guess, maybe. We'll see how I edit it. Uh, anyways, let's get back over this way then. We'll continue on. What do we got here? That door doesn't seem to want to open. Uh, this one is Medical Bay. Ooh. We got like a decontamination room or something. That's pretty cool. And we do have a med bed in there. We got another med bed here, which I don't know if we could use that currently. Let's see, open door. And let's see, it doesn't look like, oh, we can. So with this one, you can actually set this as a spawn point. So if you go down on a planet and you die, you can respawn right back on your ship. So in order, no, don't tell me I'm stuck again. No, why did I do that? I got stuck again, boys. Uh, so, yeah, this is a little... Oh, there we go. We're good, we're good. Uh, a little glitchy today because they're throwing in so much stuff. But basically, you'll go to this terminal and set this as your revive position. Uh, right now, because it's just on display, you can't actually do any of that. But once you actually get the ship or you're with somebody who has the ship... You can actually use that. And this is the med bay. This reminds me of, like I said, the Normandy from Mass Effect. So much so. I, I really do like this ship. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff over here. A little hydroponics. Freaking awesome. Okay, anyways, let's continue on because this, this ship is taking a long time to record. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, let's get the door open there. Go through there. And we should be able to go through this. And there's the med bay. Let's go around here. Go to the front of the ship. Uh, call elevator. So there's an elevator here. Uh, cartography deck. We'll go up there. 
And I believe this is the last floor we have. Uh, let's go. Oh, this is what I mean. Mass Effect 3, anybody? Freaking awesome map room. Like, this is the cartography room. This is where all your you know, researchers and everything are going to be, or the captain himself, you know, plotting out the course, exploring the galaxy and all that good stuff in this ship. Freaking awesome. And then this is where your EVA station is. You got an airlock here. You go out here, depressurize, and then uh, open the airlock to the outside EVA. And boom, now you're outside. And then again, this is the uh, airlock, or the landing bot. Um, the landing pad for any ships that well will fit out here. It's a pretty decent size. I think the Freelancer may fit. It may be a little too long. Whoop. Okay, let's get back down here. All right, let's go check out the uh, next ship then. And now we are on the sub deck of the ship, so let's make our way out of the ship. Uh, open the door, please. There we go. And here we have some, I believe these are suit containers, so you can have like different armors and whatnot stored there. We do have weapon racks here that you can actually store weapons on. Uh, on the other side as well, we have three more containers with some more weapons lockers. And uh, let's see, is this the cargo bay? Uh, yeah, we do have some cargo room down here, so you can store a lot of cargo. Uh, maybe not as much as some other ships but it can store a, quite a bit of cargo, as you can see right here. And let's just make our way out here. Oh, that's another elevator. Here is the uh, landing bay. Now, when I was on the ship with the guy who owned this, this part of the section here was actually up as like a barrier, so you can kind of take cover behind it in case, you know, you had people shooting at you from the landing bay, landing bay right here. Uh, so let's open the landing door again. Again, this is a really cool ship. It really does remind me of the Normandy from Mass Effect. Let's get out here as it extends. There we go. And get down there. Look how freaking awesome that thing is. Wow. That the, the deck looks freaking awesome up there. Okay, anyways. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a gunner seat back there too that we, we did not check out. Anyways, let's uh, see, we got that one, we checked out that. Let's go check out this big one. And I, again, I don't believe there are ground vehicles to check out in this episode. So in another two days from now, uh, it'll be, this episode will probably go up a few days after when it's recorded. But either way, let's get up here, check this ship out. Pretty similar to the other one. This one feels like the Firefly, not gonna lie. This uh, back end here, Definitely looks like the Firefly. Uh, let's close the door. Oh, man, that closed quick. Yikes. Okay, was not expecting it to close that quick. Got some cargo storage areas back here. Ooh, okay, so we got some side doors here. Let's uh, close it. How do we close the door? Uh, closed door. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. Do not obstruct. Go on this side. You can close this door as well. Ooh, you know what? I am liking this one. Uh, secure catch before takeoff. Okay. Uh, we'll check out this. Oh, the door almost closed on me. Wow. Do you see all these seats on the other side too? Ooh, look at the window there. You do have more seats on this side. What the heck? This is... Uh, what do we see? This is a turret seat. I'm assuming the lower turret. Wow. I was not expecting... This is like a troop transport ship. This is literally a carrier ship. Like, wow. Was not expecting it to carry that many guys. Let's climb up here. I don't think I need this kind of ship. I don't think I'm ever going to have that many people with me. Unless you guys really do want to join me on my adventures in Star Citizen. Which would be really awesome and I would appreciate it because I seriously love this game. I love anything sci-fi so. Uh, we got another turret seat here it looks like. That is the upper turret. Uh, we got a nice bathroom here. That's good to see. Uh, we got a bed there. We got some bunks over there. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, what is this? 
It's another gunner seat. And another gunner seat. Really? Okay. Uh, so you need biometrics to get into the cockpit. Let's see. We close the door. Oh, that is cool. And then you need biometrics to get into it. That is really cool. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to enter the pilot seat just so I don't get stuck again. Did we check out that one we did all right this is a pretty decent ship i i do like it i'm not sure how much this one costs we'll have to get on the website sometime and see which different ships there are and for what price um it would be nice to have an elevator instead of a ladder not gonna lie but uh yeah either way though this is a really cool ship i believe that's about it so let's get out here see if we missed anything and again i hope you guys enjoyed the episode Let's get out here and loop. Uh, looks like we have a guard over here. What's up, man? Pretty awesome armor, I gotta say. Uh, yeah, it looks like that's everything. Hmm, maybe I should... I do kind of feel like renting this. Can we rent this one? We can. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll rent one of these. The Andal Carrick is freaking awesome looking, though. You know, though, I mean, this ship's got a lot of weapons on it. Maybe I should... I'll have to, I'll have to see what I can do. Let's get up over this way. Alright, let's see. We did not look down this way. It looks like they closed the doors off. So I'm pretty sure there were doors here yesterday before they reset the floor. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, as well as hitting that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up. All right, guys, take it easy.